water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those cross-watching, welcome to your tarot love messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see whether this romantic connection, this romantic energy here, the feelings involved here, is it love, is it lust? So we'll go ahead and see what this is all about. This is going to be a general reading, guys, so please be mindful of that. If you're after a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address below the video. Alright guys, let's go ahead, give the cards a shuffle, and let's see whether this is really love. Okay, the lover's card here ushers in a strong romantic energy here. Okay, so I do feel like there are strong romantic feelings. It could be love. This connection could very well be love. It could even be love at first sight. I feel like there are some very intense feelings of attraction and more than that, I feel like this is something very special. I feel like what this connection is, is something very powerful. I'm also picking up that there could be... There could be someone or something else that is getting in the way of this connection. Okay, but for what it's worth, this is... The feelings involved here feel very strong, very genuine, very authentic here, and... I'm also picking up that this is a emotional connection that feels it's in alignment here. Okay, so there's an alignment here between two people, yourself and this person. And this goes, it goes beyond the physical attraction. Don't get me wrong, there's plenty of that there. But I feel like this is, you know, it goes beyond surface level converse, conversations. I feel like you guys have a lot in common I feel like there's an attraction, there's an unspoken language of attraction between the two of you. And the two of you connect on a very deep soul-like level. And both of you feel very secure sharing that connection and sharing it so deeply. Unfortunately, I do feel like there is someone or something else that is getting in the way of this connection. That is sort of hindering this union from happening and from manifesting in the way that it should it could be because this person is already in a relationship with someone else or you potentially could be in a relationship with someone else but it does feel like even though what you have is a very strong connection here it's not it's not superficial but it does feel not not at all but it does feel like and this is mind you this is the type of connection that it feels, it feels like it's soul honoring. It feels like it's a soulmate type of a connection. So this person does feel like they're your soulmate. And this person feels as though you possibly could be theirs. But I'm just seeing that there may be... I feel like there's more than two parties involved here. There could be an ex that this person may still find themselves attached to. Or you're still attached to an ex. It could be... The other thing is, okay, it doesn't have to be another person, because with the energy of the Seven of Swords, this person could be in love with you, but they're trying to deny it, okay, because they might be in a relationship with someone else, and they're feeling guilty for having fallen in love with you, or they feel, they feel guilty for falling in love with you. And it feels like the depth of this connection here, and the intensity of these emotions involved, it does feel like this is, it does feel like this is love. It does. It doesn't feel like it's lust. It could have started as lust. Okay, after all, lust is the glue that holds partners together. It could have started as lust, but I just think because of the depth and the, uh, the intensity here, and because of the soulmate energy, I'm picking up a lot of soulmate energy. This person hasn't, they've never met anyone like you before. And I think you share that you share the same thoughts about them, right? You've never, at least you've never met nor felt 
this type of way about a person before. There's something, I mean, you might have been in love and you might have lusted and you might have been infatuated, but not like this. Not, not like this. It feels like the two of you are so similar. It feels like you guys have, you sort of awaken each other's true self and your purpose. And it feels like this person understands you, okay? And you understand them. There's just this instant recognition and you know we call this the soul's recognition your soul because your soulmates here your soulmate energies you guys instantly recognize each other this is a very powerful bonding that i feel like has awakened a lot of your senses here it's very powerful very intense and very passionate here or it has the you know the opportunity to be something very intense and very passionate it could be a bit of a past energy though, this person, for some of you, this is someone from the past, you may have disconnected with this person, physically, but not emotionally, not energetically. It's sad because, you know, soulmates seldom stay together, but the love and the connection, it remains there for the rest of your lives. And what the two of you have, even though this person, or perhaps even you with the Seven of Swords, because this is an energy of deceit, and um you know deception here so i don't know if this person is willing to cross boundaries for you i don't know if this person is willing to break you know rules for you to break their moral compass for you it could be that that could be the deceiving energy we're picking up or perhaps you but i think it's also that someone is denying okay someone here is trying to fight their feelings because as i've mentioned it could be because of guilt it could be because they even though it feels so right it feels wrong okay um it's so profound though, it's so, this connection is so deep and so profound that this person is finding it really hard to ignore and just forget. They, this person feels like you're a blessing, that you've come out of nowhere. They feel like the two of you really align together and this person is in love with you or they're falling in love with you or they could just easily see themselves falling in love with you if they allowed themselves that opportunity. This is someone who I feel like loves every little thing about you um, your laugh the way that you express yourself your your style your character your personality this is someone who I feel like loves every you know or is in love with every inch of you I'm also seeing that they're very patient with you and they're also very patient with this connection I'm seeing that there is something here there's some sort of wounds I don't know if it's you okay it could be you because you're coming up as a water energy time does not heal on all wounds but just give it some it's it's a wound or a pain guys that sunk in deep into your subconscious and this be careful because if you do not heal this wound it's going to fester and it's going to impact your emotions and your behavior moving forward so you need to take some time to really heal this wound accept yourself listen to your needs address any attachments and any emotional history that you have learn to let go of it and i think this person this connecting energy i think is a beautiful energy that's going to help you do that okay don't be scared of what the two of you, or, you know what this could be because i feel like somehow this person has come out of nowhere and just you know knocked on your doorstep I shouldn't say somehow because let me tell you this is destiny this is fated this is no accident this is all planned by the universe here by your guides okay the two of you look at the angel here orchestrating you know this divine meeting this divine union it's a meeting of two souls coming together it's something very special and i think you see a lot of yourself in this person but they also awaken like a new version of yourself and they're going to help you shed layers. Some of these layers are of trauma, of hurt, or of conditioning. But I see that this is someone who is already caring for you so deeply. I see them being a very gentle, very caring, very attentive soul. I think what bothers them is that these feelings, the, the depth and the um, how just how profound this connection is, what bothers them is it's just so intense, it's so overwhelming that they don't know what to do with it. So is it love? Absolutely. Okay, or very or something very close to it. I think this person is either in love with you, is 
falling in love with you or sees themselves can see themselves fall in love with you very easily very soon as well um, they're a wish come true and they feel like you're a wish or a dream come true this person feels like you're a manifestation of everything they've ever wanted and you just showed up on their doorstep here I feel like this person is a little bit in disbelief at you your aura they're very drawn to you it's a very magnetic connection it was very instant wasn't it it's something very powerful something very deep it's something very rare unfortunately it's not something that everyone will get to experience in their lifetime but lucky you here you have something just like this all right guys and these are your messages thanks so much for watching and listening please show your support by liking sharing and subscribing to the channel for those of you interested in the personal reading please feel free to connect bye for now